Hi, Jacob here in Puerto del Sol, and I'm about ready to preach a message. And I get to do it in English today, and I'll have somebody translate it. We have a team from the United States, and I want them to be able to hear what one of our illustrated messages. So I'm taking one of our, well, one of the messages I love the most, and it's about the book. So listen up. The other day, I went to and um, bought a uh, book in an old bookstore. And it's a really old book. Y era un libro muy it's from 1812. Es de and I really love old books, and I opened it up, and I saw the author's name. Y me <laughs> los y ver, pues, de quién fue escrito, por quién fue and everything that they wrote. Y todo lo que and here's an amazing thing about an old book. Y sabes algo increíble? The author, he died 200 years ago. Es que el autor escribió hace 200 años atrás. And everything that he wrote is still written down. Y todo lo que él, todo lo que él escribió, pues sigue ahí. And it reminds me about something the Bible says. Y sabes, esto me recuerda un poco a lo que la Biblia dice. A lot of people wonder what's going to happen after we die. Mucha gente pregunta qué va a pasar después de la muerte. But you don't have to wonder any longer. Pero tú no tienes que preocuparte, preguntar. Because, because the Bible and Jesus tells us that after we die, we get to go stand before God. I don't know if that makes you afraid or if that makes you excited. But it kind of all depends on what's written in your book. Did you know that you have a book in heaven? It's got your name on it. Y ahí está tu and on the inside y is everything that you've ever done. Y de ahí está todo lo que has hecho. And everything that you've ever said. Y todo lo que tú has dicho. And it says that one day God's going to take the book off the shelf. Y un día Dios va a tomar este libro. And he's going to open it up. Va a abrirlo. And he's going to judge us according to what we've done, good and bad. Y va a de acuerdo a todo lo que has hecho, sea bueno y sea malo. So I don't know if that excites you or if it makes you afraid. Yo no sé si esto te o te da miedo. But the truth is, it shouldn't make us afraid because there's a lot of bad things in our book. If you want to go to heaven, it's going to be important that you obey God. It's going to be important to obey the commandments. So if we were to look into your book today, how many lies would be written down? If we were to open your book today, how many times would blasphemy be written in your book? Or you say, sex outside of marriage, big deal. Have sex with whoever you want. This is a free world. I have a free will. I'm not hurting anybody. But that's written down in your book. And then when God opens up your book on the last day, and he sees that you've disobeyed his laws, that should make us afraid. Because the payment for breaking God's laws is death. And you don't want to die. You don't want to go down to a lake of fire. You don't want to be punished for your own sins. And God doesn't want to have to punish you. But he will. Because he's a good God. And he's a just God. But God loves you, and that's why he sent Jesus. You think, you look around and you see churches. And you may say, I'm up to here with religion. But let's not talk about religion. Let's just talk about Jesus. Vamos a de 
Cristo. God dressed up like a man. Dios vestido como hombre. He had a perfect book. Y tuvo un libro perfecto. And he did get on a cross and die. Y él se subió en una cruz y murió. But not because he was bad. Pero no porque él era malo. But he was dying because of what was written in your book. Sino murió por lo que estaba escrito en tu libro. He wanted to be able to forgive you. Él quería darte perdón. He wanted to give you an open door to heaven. Quería darte unas puertas abiertas en el cielo. He wanted to give you peace with God. Quería darte paz con Dios. He wanted to give you hope. Quería darte esperanza. And so he dies on a cross. Así que por eso murió en la cruz. For the sins that we committed. Por el pecado que nosotros hemos cometido. And then he rose from the dead. Y Dios le resucitó de entre los muertos. And so today Jesus is here reaching out his hands to you. Así que Cristo ahora está extendiendo su mano para ti. And he's giving you an invitation. Y te está dando una invitación. And I'm inviting you. Y yo te invito hoy. That if you come to Jesus. Y si vienes a Jesús. You present them with your book. Presentas tu libro. And your, your life. Tu vida. And say Jesus I need you to forgive me. Y dices Jesús yo necesito. He'll come and forgive you. He'll give you strength to turn your back on your sins. And you place all your faith in what Jesus did for you. But not only does he forgive your sins, but then his spirit will come in and live inside of you. And you'll have eternal life. And you'll stand before God. Your book will be open. And all the sins will be washed away. Why? Because you have Jesus. That's the question tonight. Do you have Jesus? Well, come to him today. And ask him to forgive you. And you're going to have new life. Thank you so much for listening. We would like to darte un evangelio gratis. Es ya lo hemos pagado y nos encantaría hablar contigo y pedir a Dios por tu vida. You're listening.